Hello everybody. Um, the other day I showed you how to create a Hirons Boot CD or a Hirons Boot uh, USB uh, thumb drive. And today I'm going to show you a neat little trick that you can do once you've created that tool. Which is basically either revealing or erasing the BIOS password um, on your laptop. Now on desktops it's not that big a deal because you can just take the cover off and uh, short out or, or uh, change a jumper pin on most motherboards and erase the BIOS anyway which gets rid of any password so we're not going to cover that we're covering this on a laptop so here we are in my laptop I'm going to go into the BIOS okay here's my BIOS now note that um, this is, you know, something that I'm, I'm just showing you and you have to be very, very careful with this because if you do this wrong, you may not be able to get back into your BIOS. Okay, so warning. When you're doing this, please understand you're doing it on your own. And it may or may not work for you. It just works for me. So I'm at the supervisor password section of my, of my uh, BIOS. And I'm going to put a really simple bi uh, BIOS password in here. It's going to be A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. You don't get any more simple than that. I'm going to hit enter on that. And then I'm going to do it again. A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. Boom. As you can see, changes have been sa saved. Now you can see that set supervisor uh, password um, is there. I'm going to try that again because it doesn't look like it took it. Oh, yes, it did. There you go. This is asking for the current password. So I'm going to hit escape here. Then I'm going to set up a user password as well. But I'm not setting up the HDD password. I don't want a password on my hard drive. And I don't want to, you know, accidentally lock out my hard drive in any way whatsoever. So do not set your HDD password. This tool, the tool for the BIOS, I don't think would erase that. And I'm not going to test it anyway because I cherish my data and don't care to lose access to it. Um, now remember, if this is done wrong, you may lose access to your BIOS. And uh, don't blame me for that. I'm warning you right now. This doesn't work on all laptops. It just works on some. That's why I'm setting a really simple password because I can always come back in here and, you know, if the BIOS tool doesn't work, I can take it out. So I'm going to use the set the user password. Same thing. A, B, C. And this one's going to be four five six and I'm going to do it again uh, A B C four five six A B C four five six I'm using two different passwords just to show you um, the difference when we're using uh, the BIOS tools okay so saves it, changes have been saved continue okay so now we save an exit, which in this case is my F10 key. Save your configuration changes. You know, save your config configuration changes and exit now. There we go. Now I'm going to choose to boot off of my USB thumb drive, which by default anyway, but just to show you, I hit F12 on this and then we hit enter and there's my USB thumb drive with all the hirons tools now I'm going to go down to DOS programs and that gets me to this and, and the BIOS tools are on the second menu so I'm going to hit next and number two on the top is the second is the BIOS CMOS menu you see a bunch of utilities here the one that matters is the exclamation mark BIOS space 320 or what or in brackets uh, iBIOS so we're gonna go to number four and just let this load up by itself and there's our tool iBIOS or bang BIOS I guess you could call it or exclamation mark BIOS now there's a bunch of docs here which I recommend you read with warnings and uh, procedures and how this works. I'm going to do this quick, quickly so you can see how this works for me. Um, I'm going to go to crackers. 
then I'm going to go over here to this menu and down to strings and what the strings will do is show you entire CMOS as ASCII and uh, scan code strings okay and the nice thing about that is that you'll be able to see what's in your BIOS and, and you'll quickly see uh, that both of those passwords we set so I'm gonna hit strings and there you are there's the strings I don't know if you can see it or not but here's ABC four five six and then there's an extra five on the end but we know it's ABC four five six um, and then you see ABC one two three over here so you as you can see you can see both of those passwords in the string so I would attempt that before you try doing any cracking of any kind if you don't know the password to your BIOS the string might actually reveal it to you right now as you can see there's an extra digit on the four five six five it says but you know if you have that much information you can start knocking it off okay so um, I'm going to come out of this again by hitting escape and we're going to go from crackers to blasters now I've tried several of, of these blasters on uh, this BIOS already but start with the attack number one okay then reboot and see if the uh, what these blasters do is they actually clear the CMOS data which clears your your password now I've tried uh, attack number one and rebooted checked and saw that the password was still there I tried attack number two rebooted checked and saw that the BIOS password was still there but number three works on my BIOS so I'm gonna hit three and it says warning danger slightly dangerous whatever that means are you sure you want to wipe your BIOS and you say yes and that's it now we do a control alt delete machine boots we go to F2 for the bias password bias uh, setup and there we are inside the bias setup go to security and you can see in security it says set bias password or set supervisor password set user password and I can't go down to anything I need to set it again so it's effectively erased the password from my bias right so like I said read the instructions on that bias utility but it may or may not work for you it certainly worked for me um, have fun and remember be, be be very very careful because if you do this incorrectly you may be locked out of your bias or your hard drive or both which means your laptop is basically useless so experiment with caution and remember use very very simple passwords like ABC 123 or ABC 456 you think of it but make it simple don't put any special characters don't put anything you know wonky in there because it may not work okay thanks for watching